Hi there, welcome back to my show here on YouTube at People Power Farm, Russian River Bees in Northern California. Well, this video is about winter beekeeping and I'm, as you know, I'm a new beekeeper and I'm a new commercial beekeeper. So I wanted to show you something here. Take a look. Good to put some oil, baby oil, on your gloves in the winter because they get real stiff. Let's look inside. I did look here before. I just didn't have time. It was raining. And I wanted to show you guys what happens when things go wrong. What a small hive. Oh, I didn't bring my tool. Well, let me just do this another way here. You want to use insulation during the winter time. It keeps them warm. But this hive was built a different way. It had another box up top, uh, another and a deep, and I had it in there. And the reason why it was a smaller hive and I had to feed them, and I didn't have a uh, internal sugar feeder, and I had this on top of a bigger box, and there was air air coming through through the bottom with a screen bottom. They gave them a big kind of a draft. They were doing good until that happened and we had the rain. So, I'm going to take this apart here and I'm going to try to get this out. I don't have my tool, but that's okay. I'm going to have to do it this way. But the bees died and they were, it was cold for them. They were, they were clustered, not in the middle. The cluster needs to be in the middle, but you know, I had a, a, a board here. I don't know if I did. did I? Well, I probably didn't. So I had to deal with this problem. And they didn't, they starved a little bit and they got cold a little bit. They've been treated and fed. It's just that it got cold for them. The draft was coming in and they were in a big medium box. So they probably needed to be in a smaller box or have some boards here where they can kind of keep them in the middle and keep it snugged in and warm. And I didn't have the cover like you see it like I showed you, you know, just a medium box with a screen bottom. And I did have uh, a uh, white board on the bottom to keep the draft from coming in. I just noticed that, but still they didn't make it. Uh, and that's what's been going on here. And let me see if I can, because I don't have my high tool. Maybe I can push it in here. Let's see. Okay, here we go. So, uh, look here uh, so they had no food uh, I don't have my glasses here but you can see it here and they starved out and got cold uh, it was it was a new nook that I got well I got some bees and put a queen in here and they were good, doing okay until it got like 37 degrees in California and they this time didn't make it. Oh, they look at that. They even had, they even had bees to, to hatch. So it got real cold, and there's no sign of a disease or nothing. It's just they got too cold. Look at that. They're all together. They were eating, bringing in honey. I was feeding them. But you know, this is what it looks like. Uh, you know, a small hive that didn't make it. Uh, you know, if you look here. There's no sign of diseases. Now, I don't have my glasses, but that's okay. You can see them. It just got cold. Uh, not enough resources. Um, I thought I... It's still funny on this frame, but I don't know. So it didn't work out. And that happens sometimes. I should have had them in a more warmer location or a little bit more tidy. It wasn't tidy enough. I had a draft coming through here. So they got cold and didn't make it. They, they tried to heat up together, but it just didn't happen. Uh, so that cold weather got to them. 
and that's pretty much it. That's what it looks like. Now you can see what it looks like. It's... So uh, that's lesson learned that you know you have to watch your bees in the winter. And I and don't forget I have all the hives that are still working here. I'll show you. I still have hives working. These are small hives. Another one in there. I got bees here for the winter still flying in and out. I have some here flying in and out. Okay, I have some over here flying in and out. Uh, I got bees here. Got to get out of here. Let me help them clean it out here. Uh, I got bees flying in and out of here. I don't want to go into these right now. Because if I go into them right now, you know, they got the seal, propolis seal, and I don't want to go into them while it's still cold. <laughs> you can go into them when they're coming outside. It means they're a little warm in there, but, you know, they've all been fed and taken care of, treated. But this is what happens. It happens. You see my setup here. It's not really the best. I didn't have a... Uh, a board here, I forgot the name of that, but uh, didn't have that. So if you look at these are kind of a buffer, a buffer for them, but it didn't work. It didn't, didn't work. It wasn't strong enough. I don't know where the queen is. I don't know what happened to her. I didn't see I didn't see the queen, did you? I, you know, so that's pretty much it. Uh And that is it. So I'm gonna have to uh, take this apart and get it out of here because I don't want any wax moths in here. So I'm gonna just take this apart, clean it up, keep the brood and any honey they have and store it, store it for later. And that's pretty much it. That's the story for not taking care of a hive or things go wrong or if you're a beginner, if this might happen. That's why I have more than one hive. Uh, and plan on having plenty more hives soon uh, I'm working on that right now that's what the executive plans about about getting more hives and having more work and selling more honey this is the beginning like I told you you get the learning pains of a commercial beekeeper and then you watch other shows and those guys are showing you all the stuff they do they've been doing it for 30 years 20 years well I've been doing it for two and two years and three months this is it it's hard to keep up with YouTube, everybody. I will try to bring videos to you as much, much as I can. Trying to get better at speaking and, you know, uh, talking to you like we're talking person to person. It's a skill set that I'm working on, and bear with me if I'm not doing it properly sometimes. It just happens for beginners. Uh, so that's it, everybody. Thanks for watching. See you next time, and hopefully we'll have some more good videos for you. Happy holidays to you. Take care. Bye-bye. I'm taking all the mold off this uh, medium box here because I'm going to store it in uh, storage over here. all the mold out of this there's mold in here and you don't want to have mold on your frames so I'm doing a little bit of maintenance I'm probably gonna have to this one will probably be good I got to tighten up these frames I'll show you that later uh, right now I'm just getting the mold off of this for temporary storage you 
notice there's some mold on here. Look at that. See? For the mold. We gotta get rid of that. We don't want any mold on these crones. We're gonna need them later. We're gonna reuse these later. See how it looks now? Much better. Now you look at it, much better. See that? And that's how it looks. When you clean it up better, you get a look like that. So that's one I go in here. In there. Oh, I gotta get my tool. Good. mold off the frame because you don't want mold in your frames because you're going to need them for the spring you're going to have to make new ones up too but this one i'll keep 